Hi there, I'm Daniel for Calcone Media. The S&P ASX 200 has plunged nearly 4% in the past 12 months, while the ASX All Ordinaries have also plunged nearly 6.5% on a year-to-date basis. On the other hand, the Volatility Index has gained nearly 14% on a year-to-date basis. Before diving into a detailed look at the ASX performance this year, let's quickly look at some of its index performance for the year 2022. The S&P ASX 200 Financials has plunged nearly 4%. ASX 200 Materials has gained almost 7.5%. ASX All Technology has plummeted by nearly 32%. ASX 300 has fallen by nearly 5.5%. And lastly, the ASX Small Ordinaries have plunged nearly 20%. In the 2022 financial year, ASX delivered a solid full year result, driven by a revenue growth of 7.5%. EBIT grew by 7.5%, while net profit was up 5.7%. Meanwhile, earnings per share and dividends both increased 5.7% in line with net profit. Total dividends rose to 236.4 cents per share, fully franked, maintaining ASX's 90% dividend payout policy. According to Ms. Helen Lofthouse, ASX Managing Director and CEO, ASX continues to prosper from its diverse business strategy. They saw a decade of high level listing activity, notably in the first half with 217 new listings in the period, the highest since 2008. In addition, excluding the BHP Capital Unification, the total amount of capital raised grew 56% to 159.4 billion. They have a wide client base and it's critical that they connect with them actively, especially through bilateral and small group meetings, industry forums, working groups and public consultations. The ASX aims to improve customer efficiency to better understand the customer's needs and make it easier for the customers and the company to collaborate. Well, that's all for now. Leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. I'm Daniel for Calkine Media.